we all know things are shaking up in the United States. I'm going to talk about the judgment of God and what happens when civilizations come to a point of where we've come and um, cities uh, as well as nations. So let's start with Micah 2 and hopefully it'll connect and we can get to a place of repentance and come together and save this country. My name is Kevin Gonzalez, governor of Colorado at some point in time. Uh, Micah 2, woe to those who dream up wickedness and prepare evil plans on their beds and morning light they accomplish it because the power is in their hands. They cover, they covet fields and seize them. They also take houses. They deprive a man of his home, a person of his inheritance. Let's stop there. <clears throat> Let's stop there. So you've heard of, of, of foreigners, foreign China, all these other co um, countries buying up land in the United States and the United States itself buying up uh, large portions of lands. Um, you know, it, it's good for business in the sense they're pulling in mortgages and they're allowing us to invest, but they own it. They own these large pools. So at some point, um, we're not going to be able to buy homes. They're not going to be ours. It's going to be theirs. And that's a judgment from God because these covetous men are seizing them and they think up these evil plans over and over again as they lay on their bed. And they're taking away our inheritance for our children. Therefore, the Lord says, I am now planning a disaster against this nation. You cannot free your necks from it. Then you will not walk so proudly. Oh boy, everyone's so haughty, aren't they? Because it will be an evil time. And that day, one will take up a taunt against you and lament mournfully, saying, We are totally ruined. He measures out the allotted land of my people, how he removes it from me. He allots our fields to traitors. Therefore, there will be no one. You know, senators, congressmen, they're bought out and they've done some very uh, questionable things. And you can say they're traitors. They've given up our oil reserves. They've uh, sold our lands, have agreements of of payment on debts uh, on the on the backs of the American people. You know, they say that over and over again. But it talks about this right here. In the assembly of the Lord to divide the land by casting lots. I'm sure these evil businessmen are talking about what they're going to do and casting lots for who gets what. God's word rejected. Quit your preaching, they preach. They should not preach these things. Shame on you. Shame will not overtake us, O house of Denver. Should it be asked, is the spirit of Lord impatient? Are these the things he does? Don't my words bring good to the one who walks uprightly? But recently my people have risen up like an enemy. You strip off the splendid robe from those who are passing through confidently. Like those returning from war, you force the women of my people out of their comfortable homes and you take my blessing from their children forever. Get up and leave, for this is not your place of rest, because defilement brings destruction, a grievous destruction. If a man comes and utters empty lies, I will preach to you about wine and beer. He would be just the preacher for this people. So you force the women of my people out of their comfortable homes. You've heard, I'm sure, the conspiracies of trains uh, coming in and being able to take large portions of people to de detainment camps, you know, concentration camps, you can say, and they have them all around the United States, through FEMA. That is for FEMA, right, for emergency situations, but it's also for our judgment. And unfortunately, when evil people uh, are in that position, they take advantage of it, but it's also judgment on the people. It's a, it's a web of the universal principles of God's judgment. Um, I will indeed gather all of you, Denver. I will collect the remnant of Israel, of the United States. I will bring them together like sheep in a pen, like flock in the middle of its pasture. It will be noisy with people. One who breaks open the way will advance before them. They will break out, pass through the city gate, and leave by it. Their king will pass through before them, the Lord is their leader. Wow, I guess that's he's going to save us. Then I said, now listen, leaders of Jacob, leaders of Denver, you rulers of the United States, aren't you supposed to know what is just? You hate good and love evil. You tear off people's skin and strip their flesh from their bone. You eat the flesh of my people after you strip their skin from them and break their bones. You chop them up like flesh uh, for the cooking pot like me in the cauldron. Then they will cry out to the Lord, but he will not answer them. He will hide his face from them at that time because of the crimes they have committed. This is what the Lord says concerning the prophets who lead my people astray, who proclaim peace when they have food to sink their teeth into, but declare war against the one who puts nothing in their mouths. It will be night for you without visions. It will grow dark for you without divination. The sun will set on these prophets and the daylight will turn black over them. Then the seers will be ashamed and the diviners disappointed. They will all cover their mouths because there will be no answer from God. As for me, however, I am filled with the power by the spirit of the Lord with justice and courage to proclaim to Denver and his rebellion 
and the United States their sin. Yeah, we know there's bad prophets out there and so on and so forth. Weird people doing weird stuff. Listen to this, leaders of the House of Denver, you rulers of the House of the United States who have more justice and pervert everything that is right, who build Zion with bloodshed and Jerusalem with injustice. Her leaders issue rulings for a bribe. You know that. Judges getting kickbacks for sending kids to detention centers. People to jail. They own a portion of, of the jail or so on and so forth. Um, her, her priests teach for payment. So her lit, leaders issue rulings for a bribe. Her priests teach for a payment and her prophets practice divination healing and all the other things which are good those are good for silver but they're doing it for money yet they lean on the lord saying isn't the lord among us no disaster will overtake us therefore because of you zion will be plowed like a field the united states will be plowed like a field jerusalem will become ruins denver will become ruins and the temple mountains will be a high thicket the rocky mountains will be a high thicket I pray for our salvation. I pray for repentance. I pray for a genuine revelation of who God is, how he came down and died on the cross for you, for your sin and for our sin and for mankind. And now there's a new heaven uh, that he made for us. Uh, and, and we get to dwell in there forever.